How is the Bells Poppins cracking its D about to react to this vet is titled Glorilla Eats JT Up After Dissing Her. So I just reacted to Glorilla's new album and it's up on my Patreon right now. Go check it out. Link down below if you're interested in hearing my thoughts. Uh, but yeah, as some of you may know, Glorilla and JT, they had beef earlier this year. They were going back and forth on Twitter. It was pretty brutal. And uh, JT then took some shots at, at Glorilla on her album. And now, you know, it's it's Glorilla's turn. So let, let's hear what, what they think about what, what Glorilla had to say. Let's watch. Okay, you guys, so Glorilla is throwing some shots at JT in her new single. So her new single is called What You Know About Me. Now, if y'all know, JT dropped her album this summer and it was titled City Cinderella. So Glorilla is clearly throwing shots at her. Now, JT threw shots at Glorilla when she dropped her album this summer. Now, if you're wondering where all this beef is coming from between JT and Glorilla, this all started in 2023 at the VMAs. Oh. Now, rumors begin to go around. Oh, yeah, yeah. So it started before that, but the, the actual back and forth direct exchange occurred earlier this year. These two got into a physical altercation backstage. Now, the rumors kind of gave Glorilla the upper hand. It made it seem like Glorilla was the one to put pause on JT. Now, Glorilla was quiet and JT was quiet. JT said she was waiting for Glorilla to clear the air and let them know that this never happened. But what Glorilla ended up doing is dropping Yell Glow, where some of the lyrics said, slapping rap bees and making bell ho. So that just fed into the rumors. Now, these two ended up fighting on Twitter and JT called Glorilla out. She was like, why didn't you just tell people that you never slapped me? Like I was waiting for you to do that. And Glorilla said, what was I supposed to do? Tell them I didn't slap you, but I hit you with a purse. So basically Glorilla was indicating that we did have a scuffle, okay? I might not have slapped you, but I did put hands on you in some type of way. So these two ended up going back and forth on Twitter and it's been up ever since between these two ladies. And this is how some fans responded to what's going on between JT and Glorilla. And it looks like Glorilla is really the favorite here. One person said, hey, I'm team Glow, her energy. Well, because, <laughs> just better. JT give off Mean Girl. I've, I've already said what I had to say on Patreon. Go check it out <laughs> if you want to hear my my thoughts. In those lives she used to do, JT told Glorilla to Wait, go what work. What you say? Mean Girl, especially in those lives she used to do. JT told Glorilla to go work on her craft just for Glow to have hit after hit. Then a Rihanna and Beyonce notice. I will be mad. JT album no longer in discussion or charting for that matter. Meanwhile, Glow fire. Glow really got her lick back though. That's her diss. She been ugly. She'll never be a Cinderella. And she's a one flow 304 too. This ought to be good. JT is very good at making I'm the it girl music, but Glow makes them pop in my ish regardless bangers. A little verbal tussle, not too much. Just keep it in the booth and make good music for the fans. I so whose side are you on? Are you on Glorilla's side or are you on JT's side? Now, my big question has been, what really happened backstage at the VMAs? Now, we know that Glorilla allegedly hit JT with a purse because even when Glorilla said it, JT never denied it. So we know that something happened, but neither one of these ladies has spoken the out about the details mm -hmm. of that situation. But I want to know, what do you guys think about this? Do you think this beef is going to blow up into something bigger? Or do you think these two ladies right. are just going to continue to throw shots at each other? Y'all let me know what you think in the comments. But that's all I have for you. And I'll talk to you later. I what is cute. She usually includes an irrelevant live that has nothing to do with the topic at the end. Just to make it eight minutes. So I'm sure JT is saying nothing about Glow. Um, I definitely think that this can go on for for a while. This is pretty common nowadays. A lot of these rappers have beef and they continue to go back and forth for years. Look at the whole situation with Drake and Kendrick. They were beefing for like over a decade. <laughs> like just back and forth throwing shots for so fucking long until that finally blew up. Look at Cardi and Nicki. They've been beefing forever. It's like these people hold grudges and they just continue to throw shots 
Meg and, and Nikki, before they, you know, had that blow up, there were shots back and forth for some years, you know, ever since the, the hot girl summer situation. So I wouldn't be surprised if they keep this up as well, because it seems like this was not a PR stunt. It seemed like this was legit because um, they were so quiet about it initially uh, when, when reports came out that there was something that happened backstage. They didn't address it. So they were not trying to get clout from it. Um, it seems like they were trying to move on, but then Glow released her little song, Talking Shit, and then JT got mad. So this does seem like a legitimate uh, beef between them. And then the, the back and forth on Twitter was so brutal. The things that JT was saying, it's like, oh my God, which I was very surprised. I reacted to her album as well on my Patreon, and I believe I said it over there, I'm pretty sure, that she was like taking such brutal shots at glow just they were vicious but she didn't have the same energy on her album i'm like wait <laughs> you coming harder on twitter than on your album as far as like your, your shots at her that didn't make a lot of sense to me but sure uh maybe she wants to keep it kind of light and maybe glow did the same and wanted to keep it light um i do feel like she dissed her a couple other times though on the album but Anyway, uh, this is just one of the disses. And uh, yeah, y'all let me know what y'all think about all this. Uh, let me know what other videos you want to watch. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.